Hello, Clayton Stuffelbeam here. Today I'm in Atlanta, Indiana at our Atlanta, Indiana PFR site. This year we had the opportunity to put in another high-speed study with John Deere's Exact Emerge high-speed system. So we're going to talk about the differences with this system versus the competitors, and then we'll talk a little bit of how the plot planting and how it looks today. So we're going to start off with the meter. So we've got John Deere Exact Emerge system here and we're going to compare it with the Ag Meter Sure Speed and Sure Force system and Precision Planting's Speed Tube system. So I'm going to open up the meter here first thing. And the first thing that I look at is we have a knockout wheel on the outside of the plate, okay? The plate is bowl shaped. I pick up seed from this side and then it brings it down. I load it here at this green agitation strip that agitates the corn as it loads onto the meter. And then it's gonna rotate, go past the simulator. You gotta simulate doubles there off of, the, off of the plate. And then it's going to be loaded onto a brush on the top side of the meter versus the bottom side of the competitive units. It very easily comes out of here like so. And that shows the brush. So we load the brush on the top side, and it uses a brush instead of a belt. A, these, the competitors use a cleated belt, and that has to, the seed has to wait for an open cell to come around to drop the seed into. Whereas this, as that brush comes around the top, we could drop a seed anywhere in that brush, it doesn't matter. So it's not gonna affect spacing if we get on the wrong side of the cleat in a belt. It's got a tensioner on the back side to put tension on that belt and keep tension on it as that belt wears. John Deere's also got all the components I think is necessary for high speed planting. So hydraulic row to row downforce is very important as we change conditions throughout the field and very important as we change our speed. So we might need more downforce as we speed up depending on the conditions we're planting into. I did a high speed trial the other day, worked it like a garden and actually was using negative downforce throughout the system where a spring downforce system would have worked very poorly in that scenario. I also recommend row clearance. Um, don't run them very deep when I'm doing high speed, but I still think it's very important to get a clean seed trench so we don't hairpin any residue. And from our data, we have shown that utilizing spike closing wheels at high speeds and normal speeds, we do get a very good yield advantage. So I'm gonna recommend those um, in high speed as well. Now, let's talk about the study. So in the study, we've got five, seven and a half, and 10 mile an hour treatments. When I walk those treatments, I cannot tell you the difference between the five, the seven and a half, and 10 mile an hour passes. Final stands, they're very, very good as well. We dropped 35,000 plants per acre with the exact emerge system the day we planted. And then today we have about 34, 100 to 34, 250 come up. So that is the range between speeds. So statistically, no difference from speed to speed, which is truly exciting. Over the past two years, we've been able to show you some yield data showing that we can in fact increase our speed. And when we increase our speed, that allows us to hit tight windows where we can get a very good yield gain from an earlier planting date in corn and soybeans both. So, so far, everything looks good. All of our high speed trials, whether it's Ag Leader Precision or John Deere have worked out very well this year. I'm very excited to get three years of data for the precision planting system. If you want to learn more about the Exact Emerge system, the Ag Leader system, or Precision system, please come see us at our field shows. This is going to be one of my topics that I'm going to present on. I'm going to present on a deep dive into the downforce, how I work the ground in every scenario, of it, different ways we did that this year, and then closing wheel systems as a whole. So we're going to dive deep and we're going to show you successful ways to make high speed work on your operation to get good yield gains earlier in the season. So with that, thanks for watching. Hope to see you at our field shows this summer.